Well, I made a video before about my Mortal Kombat figures, and I recently just found out I have 75 viewers. Now, the last time I looked, I only had three. My boys told me I had 75. So they convinced me to make another video. Now, the figures you're about to see are... A lot of them are made, some are bought. And I'll tell you which ones are which. And if you see something you like and you want to purchase it, let me know. And I will talk to you and negotiate about prices. And I do make figures that people just want. Make figures to order. So, let's get to it. Alright, we're going to start at the top shelf. Now, these are my Predator figures. Now, the Predator figures I didn't make, but their enemies I did. Alright, here we go. Alright, focus, come on. Alright, this is my Elder Predator. In the back here, there we go, is my Hunter Predator taking on a snake alien that I made, which I made it from Vitruvian Hacks, all of it. Um, then I go over here, and yes, you see a big elephant. On top of that big elephant is my City Hunter Predator. And I made these two to look alike. I painted all the face mask, the horns, the whole nine, right down to his toenails. We come over here. I have my guardian predator in back fighting what I call the King Cobra alien. And um, I need the hands, the skull, um, everything else to it, but it's all out of Vitruvian Hex parts. And right here, yeah, that's pretty dope. Alright, that is one of the best predators I got. I like him a lot. And he's fighting a spider alien that I made. Let's see if we can get a good view over him. But yeah, he that one came out pretty cool. She's pretty neat. Now these ones I'm not going to take down and show you one by one, but I'll show you up close up. And this is one of my favorite predators. He's absolutely amazing. I didn't do much but add weapons to them. That's all I really had to do with these figures. But I made the throne, this is the Elder Predator. Gave him a sword, the skulls, the whole throne I made, painted. Um, I put shields, I put skulls, I even put masks on top, which came out pretty sweet. On their skulls back here. Now, each one of these are their spears. And I thought those were cool, but I honestly like giving them bladed weapons because that's what they really use. I mean, they do use laser guns and stuff, but you really don't see them with guns. You use, usually see them with bladed weapons. Well, let's go down to shelf number two. Alright, shelf number two. I'm going to back up a little bit here. These are some of the Naruto figures I made, well, besides this guy. This guy's actually me. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I look like. I have tattoos, kind of muscular, wear blue jeans, the cap, the beard. But yeah, that's actually me. My boys love that figure. And this, this video is actually going out to my boys because they're the ones that told me about this, so to Christian, Logan, and Justice, this video is for you. Alright, let's explain some of these guys. This guy is Kakashi Sensei, and he's from Naruto. I thought he was pretty cool. I made him top to bottom, painted him, Gave I even gave them each the sandals. This one is Naruto. Now this Naruto is made out of a Ryu body, um, Ryu head. I switched the legs up, uh, I switched the feet up. I gave him his actual hurt arm hand. 
But, yeah, he came out pretty sweet. It's adult Naruto, obviously. I mean, yeah, unless Naruto has been bulking up. All right. I made Sakura. She came out amazing. She's got the red hair with the red highlights. Well, the pink hair with the red highlights. Um, she's also all pink, which she is from the, well, every show. But I made her look like a ninja. Gave her her a bow. I gave her a sigh. I gave her all the shielding. It's all painted. These were all originally gold. And I painted everything top to bottom, hair too. Now I wanted the red to stick out just a little bit to highlight and shine off of her. So she looks pretty cool. Uh, this is Sasuke. Sasuke with crazy hair, covering his eyes, kind of damaged. And this guy always takes damage, but he always kicks ass. I like him a lot. He's one of my fave characters. And I did him pretty good justice. I gave him a trench coat. I gave him... I made, I made and molded his hair out of glue. So that was pretty cool. And in the back, we have two of my favorite guys, because I love this video game. And I made Dante from Devil May Cry. And he came out amazing. He's a little tan in the chest, but, you know, he's pretty cool. I like him a lot. I gave him his guns. He has a sword. I just have it on another figure. But yeah, that's Dante. Then I made Nero. Now Nero's cool. He came out amazing. This is Nero. Let me show you his full body there. Now what I did was I painted the Naruto coat gave him a hood, made the sword from hand, um, gave him a gun, I gave him his mystical hand, and I gave him a shotgun holster. I mean, the guy's just sweet. And what I did was I made him out of a Ryu body with different legs, a different hand. Yeah, he's like six different figures all together. Now that shelf's done. Next shelf. Now, this one's my youngest son's favorite shelf. He is very, very, very into Dragon Ball Z. So what I did was, I started making Dragon Ball Z figures. So let's check them out. Alright, we'll start with number one. I made, I'm back up a little bit. Goku. Now this Goku has gone... Super Saiyan 2 in his highest level form. In the back here, we have. Oh, hold on, we'll get to him. All right, in the back here, we have everybody's favorite, Vegeta. I'm going to back him up a little bit. And the lighting's a little off, but. Vegeta is sweet. What I did was I gave him a blade on his back. I gave him a gray and black suit, which is actually an X-Men suit. I gave him a lightning hand, which makes it like he's doing one of his major attacks. He came out amazing. If the lighting's off, I'm sorry. There we go. A little better. We'll get to that shelf down there in a minute. Alright, next I made Piccolo. Now this Piccolo isn't to design. This is Super Saiyan God Piccolo. Okay, now this Piccolo is like all of the Namekians together. This guy's Diesel. I like how he came out. He just reminds me of a war Piccolo. He came out pretty tight. Alright, and in the back here, we have Jiren. 
I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. My son will kill me if I'm not, but G Ren. And he came out amazing. He's like six different guys. Um, but he was fun to make. That's actually a Spider Man head, which I redesigned, put a couple little things on him. He looks pretty bulk. He's all movable. I mean, they're all, all my figures are movable. But yeah, close up. Jiren. Guy never smiles. Alright, next. Now this one is my design before I watched the movie. Okay. This is my Broly. Alright, now the thing is with my Broly is this is you, you know how the Super Saiyans go Super Saiyan God? Well, this guy went Super Saiyan Devil. Yeah, he went to the other side. But he looks pretty sweet, and what I did was I made I made all of it, painted all of it. And I didn't want to go bare-chested. I wanted him to look darker. I wanted him to look meaner. And he looks meaner. His hair is all lit up. Now that's because I wanted to make him the devilish look. Alright. Now. This one's a cool one. Oops. This one is Gohan and his dad merged together. Now they are Super Saiyan monkey mode pretty much. This is like Super Saiyan God 4 mode. But he went all the way in. This guy is crazy. I made the tail. Give him the tail. I gave him a sword. Now this is Bardock and Gohan merged together. Which looks amazing. I'm trying to give you good lighting. But yeah, this guy came out pretty cool. I like him a lot. I mean, he's got cool armlets. He's like king of the Super Saiyans. Alright, now, I'm saving the best for last, so hold on. This guy is not the best for last, but it is my version of Krillin. And what the, what this is, is a Dragon Ball Z body, but they were so small, so I took all their heads off and made bodies for them. And I kept the bodies, and I decided I needed to have a Krillin. So I made a Krillin. I painted his face, gave him the dots on his head, and he's the perfect size. He's smaller than them and he fits in perfect. My Krillin. Alright, hold on. And next. My Super Saiyan Vegito. Warrior style. Now this guy is so sweet. Probably one of my favorites. I gave him all the armor. I painted his legs. I gave him... The only thing I didn't do is paint his hair. That's his natural hair color. But I gave him the swords. I gave him a belt. I, everything on him, I put on him. Now, like I said, these aren't the original bodies. These bodies were way smaller than this. So I decided I was going to make them look amazing. And that is amazing. Okay, now on the shelf, there's a couple of figures that... Don't go with Dragon Ball Z, but they are a video game franchise. And my son loves them. Alright, what I did was I made the bearded Ryu. And what I did was I cut his top off. So now he's the beardish, bearded shirtless warrior Ryu. Which came out amazing. He looks good. I like him a lot. And the beard wasn't so hard to do. I mean, it wasn't, took me like two minutes to do. But it came out pretty good on him. I mean, it's a little shiny, but it's even. Alright, now, what's a Ryu without an evil Ryu? Yeah, buddy. I made this guy look amazing. 
Now, for those who don't know, Evil Ryu is part of Ryu. And everybody knows the story. It just gets crazier and crazier. This guy is amazing. I did a good job on him. Um, what I did was I cut half of his outfit off, painted all the hair, painted the eyes, painted the chest, painted all the black, and the torn gi. He looks great. I love him. So does my son. Okay. Now, we'll go to the second shelf down. Now, as everybody sees, I do have some DC figures that I've made. Now, DC figures are okay eh, to an extent. You know, they really screw you with Superman. So, I made my own Superman. I'll bring it over here. Okay, I made my own Superman. Yeah, this Superman is buff. Looks like he's been a little beat up, though. He's been through it. But he's got a great face. Which you can't say about most Supermans. Now, this is one of the first figures that I've made. Ever. So, uh... Yeah, he's not as clean as I like. Or as good as I like now that I've been making figures for a while. But he is one of my favorites because I recently learned to be better at making them. But you can tell how much I've gone up in difference. I mean, yeah, he's all chunky and stuff. But, like I said, not bad for a first figure. But then I got better. Then I learned a little bit more. Oops. All right, we'll just keep him there. I made a Batman. It came out pretty sweet. I did the bat decals. Bat legs, gauntlets, gave him a bat cuff. He came out pretty sweet. All movable. Head moves, arms move. He's beautiful. Great movement on him. Then I went to GL. Green Lantern. Now Green Lantern's been working out on this guy's outfit. Because, yeah. He's diesel. But he's dope. He matches beautiful. I didn't paint the insignia on because I really like the armored look. He just looks sweet. So, okay, Green Lantern. And I made the Atom. The Atom came out pretty sweet. I mean, like I said, the DC figures were some of my first figures that I made. So you'll notice the upgrade from the figures that I've made to the more recent ones. Um, then I made a Firestorm, which came out pretty sweet. I glue that's all hot glue and nail polish. I painted all that. Yeah, he looks pretty cool though. He's not too bad. And like I said, first figures. This is my first figure flash. Now that I look back at these, they're not that great, but I do like them. They're not my first figures, you know, you gotta love them. Alright, now I made a bad guy side. Now, some of these figures are more recent, and some are not, okay? Um, the more recent one is going to be the Lobo. I made my own Lobo, and yeah, he came out sweet. I made his motorcycle, well, a motorcycle for him, which is all bones, and it's got some, now that's, Baron, well, that's uh, a boneless skeleton that he talks to, it's kind of got a spirit in it, um, yeah, I gave him a cigar, I gave him the hair, which came out amazing. Like I said, I got better at making these figures. Some of them are first issue. You know, so they're a little rougher. Like this one. <laughs> yeah, that was my version of uh, Lex Luthor. He's a little rough. Stubby little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. But yeah, you can see the big difference between this and this. And okay, now we're going to go down. 
All right, now this is more of my fantasy guys. These guys are from more like Dungeons and Dragons type stuff. A lot of people won't recognize some of these figures, but a lot of people might. So we'll figure it out and we'll see. All right, let's get down here. Ah, all right. This guy is one of my favorites. I just recently made him. His name is Warlord. And yeah, let's get him out of there. Let's see what he looks like. Alright, Warlord. This is Warlord. I gave him a scar on his eye. I painted the whole body. I gave him a scarred up magical shield. He has a very long sword. I gave him gauntlets. All the paint is mine. Um, and what it is, why it's black and white and dotted, he hunted a monster snow leopard that was devouring a village. So, after he killed it, he wore it. And it looks dope on him. He is absolutely one of my favorites, and I just did him the other night. Alright, let's put him back. Alright, put you right there. Now... Like I said, this would be like my dungeon party, really. I'm inner nerdish. But this is Thork. It's kind of Thor, but it's not. And he came out sweet. He's very barbaric. Very Viking-ish. And it's my version of what I think Thor should look like. Bearded. Big brew. Yeah, he's beast. And in back, we have what I made is um he's more of my ranger. Dope. He's more of my ranger. And we'll go over here. Okay, and that is a hawkeye head with a G.I. Joe body, different hands. And he came out pretty sweet. I like him. He's got a Doom Cape. He looks pretty sweet. Did pretty good on him. Now I call this guy Justice. This is one my son helped me make. And this guy is pretty sweet. What we did was I cut off a helmet piece, glued it to his head. This um whole this is a uh, let me think. Uh, what body is that? Silver Samurai's body. But I repainted everything. And we call him Justice. Now the reason why we call him Justice is because my son helped me make him. And I thought it was a great name for him. This is Gore. Now everybody knows you need to have your own kind of, you know, short guys. That's a good way to put it. But he's a dwarf, and I made him a dwarf. I love him. Now, the story behind this guy is Gore has no eyes. Okay? He has, like, a sixth sense. He uses his hearing, just like Daredevil, but with a different, with a different ratio. His is way stronger and he can sense even an ant moving in the ground. He's pretty good. But yeah, he's one of my favorite characters. Everybody's got to have their dwarf in their party. And he definitely came out cool. And what I did was I cut down some legs, glued on some parts, painted his legs to make him look just warrioristic, and gave him an oversized axe for him with, with the oversized beard, very dwarvish. You gotta love it. Alright. Now on the bad guy's side, this is where it gets really cool. Alright. Now a lot of guys will recognize this guy from Dungeons and Dragons. Now it's the evil Dragon Lord. And he came out sweet. Put his arm down there. Now, back in the day, Dungeons and Dragons had a half guy, a g evil guy, 
with spikes all over him, um, half and half. He was half blue and half human. But he had one half human leg. I decided I wanted to go the whole warrior route. He's got a little blood on his weapon. I mean, the guy is crazy diesel, all blue. And that's actually a skull that has a movable jaw underneath it that I used from Vitruvian Hacks and the helmet. Um, this guy's like six different body parts too. He's six different guys. But I did put red in his eyes so you could see him. They kind of glow just a little bit in the dark there. Okay, he's cool. Now, uh, what's out of anything without a skeleton warrior? Gotta have a skeleton warrior. This guy is sweet. Now, he's definitely not a Skeletor, but I was going to make a Skeletor and decided if I was going to go a whole He-Man route, it depends on the views that I get from this. We'll see. Alright, he came out pretty cool. There's not a whole lot special about him, but he's very cool. Now, this is where it gets Vitruvian Hacks cool. Alright, this is my Vitruvian Hacks Gargoyles. That's what I call them. Now what I did was I completely redesigned these guys. She's my queen. She's gorgeous. Painted every bit of her. From top to bottom. I made her legs a little darker because I wanted her to stand out. But her wings came out amazing. We call her Morgana. Which white would focus a little better but yeah I did all the paint on the wings her wings were originally that color that's why I left them there but this is what I did to them not bad huh pretty good told you I got better at this alright we're gonna put her over here now this is her brother Dracon now he's the evil spirited one. This guy's pissed off. Alright. The reason why he's so mad is because his wings were when he was born, they were born triplets. And his wings were born deformed. So they're kinda purple and kinda shriveled up and But he got the cunningness. This guy is smart and he's a wizard. And he uses it. He's pretty, pretty evil. We're going to get his brother now. Now, yes, I know this oops, is a little bit kind of, it's a little weird, but I call this Goliath. And this is an amazing figure. And the reason why I call him Goliath is because he's got the super wings. Amazing horns. Now this guy is all Vitruvian hacks. The only thing I did was redesign the wings. Everything, everything on him is Vitruvian hacks. Just a couple of color differentials. Little details here and there. Weapons. And yeah, this guy is amazing. I like them a lot. And then we got Warlord's Ultimate Enemy, Droko or something like that. But yeah, this guy's an evil warlord. He's pretty cool. Now I designed his magic staff, gave him a book of magic. He's got potions. He's got another book of evil. Got an evil cape. Gave him the old hairdo, which came out pretty sweet for him. And most of these are Marvel parts. It's all Marvel body, but all Vitruvian Hacks extras. He came out sweet. Okay, who else do we have? I think that's about it. Well, if you guys like my figures, comment, leave a like. Um, if you're interested in buying anybody, let me know. Um, I'm sure we can make a deal on somebody. 
if you guys are interested. If not, I just keep making them because I like them. I'm not really into it for selling them. I, like I said, this is just a hobby for me. Um, I do this because my sons love it. My youngest son especially. He is a major, major player in what I do with these. So if you guys like it, um, subscribe, like, comment, you know, let me know what you think of the first figures compared to, you know, the now. Like I said, these DC figures are about, I don't know, almost 10 years old now. So I think they've, I've definitely changed up from doing this kind of work to going to this kind of work. Yeah, it's a big difference. I mean, but I love it all the same and I'd never really part with those guys. These guys are, that's a tough one to get rid of because I love them. There's more of the fantasy guys. Like I said, Morgana, Goliath. Put these guys back on the bad guy side. But yeah, these guys are amazing. I love doing this. And if you guys like this and you want to see more, just let me know. Like, subscribe, you know, hit that little button. But yeah, like I said, everything is very cool. I paint everything, I do it all. That's actually their time capsule.